Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm Mike the Explosive One. Uh, let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Did you hear about how wild of the time the blizzard was in Buffalo, like around Christmas? No. Did, did you hear about like 50 people died? Like there were no. stories I saw about people like, man, new father goes out to get milk for his baby and never comes home. Like people, somebody like messaging my family on Christmas Eve and then never makes it home six six minutes from their house. Like, and I was like. This how damn wild did it get in Buffalo? Like during this during this blizzard, they got like forty inches of snow. What? Yeah, like there was cars abandoned in the street. Like people couldn't like so like we we the area we grew up in got leg effect snow. For those of you who don't know, it's a condition based on how the weather moves across the lake and on the the cusp of Ohio where it goes upwards. Um you get hit with all this snow that isn't from a storm system. It develops off the lake. And Buffalo is literally on the corner of the lake. So Buffalo gets it worst. We used to get it real. I've seen it drop 36 inches of snow in like 18 hours before, like in my 20s. Um, I mean, you I mean, you lived through some of those snowstorms, right? I did. Uh, the last year I was in Buffalo, they got... You were in Buffalo? Uh, I lived in New York, I would say. Oh. Um, but the last year I lived in New York, I'm sorry. Last year I lived in New York, Buffalo got six feet of snow in a day. And it shut down everything. They had to cancel a Buffalo Bills football game. This was the last year I lived in New York. And even the part of New York I lived in got hit really, really hard. And I'll never forget shoveling my, my ass out of the driveway on my way to work for an hour and a half. Even some guy had to come out and help me, some neighborly neighbor. And it still took me like 30 minutes after he gave up. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, 40 inches is only three and a half. Well, it's like three but feet. But it was in like, a, in like a day or something. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. For and there was blowing wind, so it was all drifting and blowing. Yeah, everywhere. yeah. It's, um, that's not a lot. But though. so, you know, tragically, you know, for all the people who lost their lives, that really sucks. There was one story that I saw that I really, this is why I wanted to bring up. So mm -hmm. there was a guy who was going, and I guess he, he must have had a bigger truck so he could get through some of the snow drifts and through the roads or whatever. Um, and he, he pulled over to help someone and he saw like a bunch of like elderly people that were like also stuck and there wasn't anything they could do. So he ended up, and there was like, he ended up breaking into a school. Mm -hmm. to so they could have shelter he broke into the school he broke into the cafeteria to find like some food for people to eat and things like that mm -hmm. and then he like and he found like they found gym mats and put them down so they have somewhere to sleep and like all this because it was just such a bad night and then he like just wrote like an apology on the board like hey i'm sorry that i had to break in i'm sorry i had to do this but if not all these people would have died like my apologies gym or whatever like and, and i don't know what's going to happen to him they have like a security camera footage of him walking through the you know he didn't do anything like abusively vandalistic right like he just he broke in <clears throat> broke he, like to help people not die like so yeah, i wonder if I'm, this I'm, man's gonna face criminal charges uh, or if they're gonna like let it go i mean like i said man court of public opinion is gonna keep that guy keep the gym owners from, from seeking prosecution school. or school i'm sorry school owners from seeking prosecution but you never know i mean he he has every right to go to jail he broke in he stole he yeah, 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 yeah. i mean it's like it's that whole like if you know if you get caught stealing bread to feed your family <sighs> Like, how much jail time should you have? Yeah. This was like he was saving old people's lives by breaking into the school so they would have heat and shelter from this storm because it was like sub-zero temperatures on top of it. That's so nuts to me, man. That That is one reason that we, I'm never going to move back north. Yeah. yeah. I'm never doing it. Never doing it, man. No. Like, you just recently came back from up there. Yeah, but I got lucky. It, was, it, was, it wasn't that cold. You and had a couple snow days, though. It only snowed once. And it One was like time. an inch. That was it. Really? I got so... The week before I got there, there were like snow emergencies. They had like shut down the roads and stuff. And like it was all cleared up. By th it was in the 40s for highs most every day I was there. So it was like Ugh. the same temperature when I got home. Ugh. Yeah, it sucked, but it wasn't bad. The wind is what I forgot how nasty wind is. Yeah. When it's like 30 degrees and the wind is like 30 miles an hour, mm -hmm. that is the worst thing ever. I remember walking to school in that ish, man. Yeah, dude, you're just cold to the bone. Like, your fingers are falling off and stuff, like, dude. Like, that's borderline child abuse, man. I'm still drinking hot tea, and it's 80 degrees today. <laughs> Don't rub it in their faces, Jonathan. Dude, I'm gonna I... hate you like, for it. Okay. Don't rub it in their faces. Part of me, the part of me that wants good value is like, man, 
I could move back to Ohio, Ew. get like three acres and a three thousand square foot house for like a right. hundred or two hundred k at I could most. Easily put the DP on that right now. Right. I got in you. Austin. That same thing would be like a million dollars. Easy. Right. Easy. Like you, you get you get a house that's like twelve hundred square Holy. foot, and you have like you don't even have a quarter acre. You got like five hundred foot of yard, yeah, yeah. and it's like two hundred, three hundred k minimum. Yeah. And it's like so. It's like. If I ever get to the point where I want to buy a house, would I relocate somewhere that maybe doesn't have as good of weather, but I could get a bomb ass property and house? But do I want to deal with snow? Like, no. it's like once you hit the snow barrier, that's where that change really happens because yeah. you pay for the better weather. Yeah, or you could move to like Wyoming. You yeah, have pretty cheap stuff. I would. There yeah, too. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, but it's very rural, and like, so if it snows, you get shut down. Like that's the like. I yeah. would move somewhere super hot, like Arizona, because th they have the same sort of thing. People don't want to live there because they're like, I can't handle it being 115 for three months out of the year, mm. where the dry heat I'm okay with. I just won't go outside. Mm. You're gonna do stuff like, but like. Have, dealing with snow is its own beast, dude. It yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. I don't miss it in the least. I don't. You you were lucky enough, like, when you went back, you got the tourist snow. You yeah. got like, oh, my God, there's an inch of snow. It's a little chilly out. Yeah, uh, right. And when I went to my mom's last December, not not 21, it, the day after I got there, we had a snowstorm of 17 inches. Mm. And it, but it didn't start till like, noon. It was actually the perfect event because my favorite way to do snow is watching it fall during the daytime when I have nowhere to go. Because you get to watch it accumulate. It's really cool. You don't have to go out in it. So we woke up. We went to the liquor store. Got beer. Got some food. Da, da, da. Came home. Flurry started falling as we were, like, driving back to the house. And, like, we par 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 version, parked the man. car. And then it snowed 17. It snowed heavy as shit all day long. I woke up in the next morning, and I was like, hot damn. I was like, that's the kind of snow I want to see. And then it didn't snow the rest of the time I was there, and it got warm, and it all melted. And I was like, I got tourist. the tourist blizzard. That's tourist blizzard, man. It's like, oh, my God, it looks dangerous out there. You just spend, <laughs> spend your time in the log cabin drinking hot chocolate in front of a Getting fire. drunk, and yeah, like, oh, my God, all that snow looks sad, serious <laughs> out there. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be flying home. That was yeah, wonderful. Right. Like, so, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, so, and so, honestly, that's the snow I want to see. I so that's see that. the uh, that's like the that's what the dilemma I face because I'm like, man, at some point I'm probably gonna want nah, a house, man. maybe. Nah, I'm not moving back up there. But man. I don't. I'm not no, moving back not, to Ohio. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No, you can put me back up in Ohio when I'm too old to take care of myself, and I'm not gonna be driving myself anywhere. Yeah, then we could do that. But right now, no. When you live in like one of them 55 and over co apartment communities, yeah. Yeah, you know, when I'm going to, I, look, I don't have any children, so why even lie to myself? But when I end up in a nursing home, uh, potentially, or, you know, dead from a fallen shower, then, <laughs> I, yes, then you can put ship me to Ohio. Also, ship my course to Ohio, too, I'm sure, you know, somebody might appreciate it up there. There's a better chance for people visiting my corpse in Ohio than there are in Austin. Yeah, you know, and, like, that's the thing. It's, like, while I'm young enough to want to go do stuff and go out and have fun and meet people and do things... I'm not going anywhere near there. No, no. But if I'm just chilling in the house all the time anyways, never going to meet anybody else, I'll yeah. lock down and shit. Yeah. Send me back to Ohio, bro. I'm good. Plus, we'll plus, like, warm weather chicks look better, Jonas. So. <laughs> wow, is that, how, is that how it works? Warm weather chicks. Look, warm weather chicks and dudes look better. Oh, I'll tell you what, bro. Can't like, even tell went, me that's not I went a lie. From like a, I went from, like, a seven to, like, a nine. When I went up there. <laughs> you felt your own beauty scale rise? Like, I, like you walking around like, ooh, I'm a hot commodity up in this <laughs> Plus, you got a little money in your pocket You're from out of town. Those <laughs> yeah. are all points. Yeah, I show up. I show up. Everybody's wearing camo. I'm wearing all black. Yep. Like, like coming up, being like, "Ooh, he's been in here three days buying sub sandwiches. Right? He must be. He must got some funds." You pull out your ID. It says freaking Austin, Texas. It's Texas on it. Like, oh, ooh, you know, big city boy coming to the little town. I was yeah. like, and they're all they all southern. I don't understand how you could live in Ohio in North. Eastern Ohio and have a Southern accent. Get the <laughs> fuck. Where the fuck did you learn I don't, that? that? I didn't run into that, but we'll we'll keep, we'll keep the trope going. They're like, oh, honey, you welcome here in Ohio anytime. Yeah, welcome to any Waffle House in Ohio. Yeah, yeah. we have them there. Wow. Yeah, 
Yeah, but no, man. It, I'm, and I'm joking, but like, no, but like, it was interesting because, <laughs> it, like, it, they, you know, they always say, depending on where you are, like, it's like when you talk about that, like the attractiveness of people, like whatever. But I think there's a little bit of truth to that because people, like people who, it, people who are vain, tend to care about things like weather, and where things are happening, like. Austin is a place where it has good weather. There's money here because like big companies are here. Yeah, it's like a top ten sit population size city, so people are gonna come here. Yeah, because these girls can afford BBLs and uh, implants. Yes, I guess. Wow. You. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of them out there. Jonas. Well, right. Let's and just then, keep so it like, a buck. And then, They're and then floating, if, man. If you want to stay in a place like rural Ohio where nothing's going on, there's really nothing to do. Yeah. Like. The chances of you being some hottie who are, who want like to live the hottie lifestyle, you ain't going to be living in that kind of environment. You're going to go somewhere else. I can guarantee you there is maybe one BBL in all of Ohio. <laughs> yeah, but it's like maybe but one. You know what, man? But I maybe feel like, one. But I feel like some of the women that you find in those areas, like Ohio, like Ohio, um, <laughs> they're they're more down to earth and just like chill. Because they don't, they don't care about like the material and the things like that. A lot of them, they like they, they you can find a more like regular person. I mean, look, man, if if you were born in a in a in a, a dumpster <laughs> and you lived in a dumpster for your entire life, you're not gonna get mad by a little garbage on the floor. You know, but ain't wrong. Ain't wrong. This is like the worst analogy. Yeah, but anyways, I mean, I mean, we'll leave it at that. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Cleveland, they're raised by wolves. <laughs> yes. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. T and T. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're still recording.